Oh, it's cold out here. It's January. Good point. You know what that means? It's time to plan the garden. It may not seem like it now, but in a few weeks it will be time to plant the first seeds. Here are some things we consider. We've been growing our garden here for 10 seasons now. In the past, we've mainly focused on having fresh vegetables to eat in season with enough leftover to preserve. Leftovers beyond that were sold, traded, or given to friends, family, and neighbors. This winter, our goal was to empty the freezer! which means this year we will need to grow enough fresh vegetables to feed us, our family, and friends, and enough to sell at the farmer's markets, and to preserve by canning or freezing. This year, we're gonna grow sweet potato, eggplants, bell pepper, hot pepper, celery, onion, tomato, kale, cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, tomatillo, herbs, radish, lettuce, chard, peas, spinach, cucumber, watermelon, cantaloupe, zucchini, winter squash, beets, Carrots, green beans, okra, potato, scallions, sweet corn. This time of year, we can also gather important information on where we want to grow. So we look at some of our plots here. Uh, one important piece of information is the size of the plot. We can use Google Earth or Google Maps. Both have uh, measurement tools. If you want to do it from the comfort of your own house. Or you go outside, use a tape measure. We grow in three main plots, a 90 by 90 garden next to the house, a 300 by 100 field, and a 215 by 70 foot field, both down by the creek. That all adds up to about 1.3 acres. The garden next to the house has 20 50 inch wide beds that are sized to fit our small tractor for some of the functions and allow for handwork in others. In the larger fields, we use a variety of spacings based on the crop and the equipment we are working with. This includes a plastic mulch layer for many of the crops and a conventional corn planter for sweet corn. Next, we go to our spreadsheet, which includes all the varieties we decided to grow, how many beds we're allocating to the crops, and how much seed we have left over from last year. Then we can calculate how much seed we need total and what we need to buy. Along with ordering seed, we check greenhouse space. This year we will be doubling our greenhouse size. We make sure we have enough planting trays, row covers, irrigation supplies, compost, and amendments. We like to be as prepared as possible before the growing season starts because when the garden gets going, you don't want to waste any of that precious time. These are some of the things we look at when planning the garden. Stay tuned, we'll be placing our seed order, getting in all the supplies, and adding to the greenhouse. <laughs>